Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Little side note, I have my dishwasher running right now and it's very, very loud. And I'm kind of like sitting right next to it so it's probably gonna be a bit loud. Today's video has been highly requested. It is my gold jewelry collection and I have over the years, I guess I should say over the last few months especially, I have really um, started building up my gold jewelry collection. I have always loved jewelry. I think my whole family can attest to that as well. Ever since I was young, I just loved, I called them dangly earrings. So that was anything that like dangled off of my ears. I loved it, especially hoops. But specifically, I would say in the last two years, especially I have loved gold jewelry just like gold accents in general are beautiful I have gold all around my house like I love gold gold framing gold mirrors I love it all so I thought that I would actually kind of instead of just sitting down and showing you all the jewelry I'm wearing I thought that I would go in depth a little bit more into each piece and share if I think that piece is worth it. Let's just get on into it. I guess I'll just start by sharing all the ones that are on me right now. I love all these pieces, specifically these necklaces right here. I love these. These are actually from Madewell and I love them so much because at least in my opinion, they have not worn off at all. Like the gold has not worn off at all. I have worn them morning, noon, and night beach, rain, like I have worn them everywhere and they have really lasted. I will 100% link them because I love them so much and you've probably seen these a million times. I do like wearing them separately, they come um, separate or they come in a pack but they come or you can wear them separately. So I love this one because it's like a square pendant and then this one is circle so the square and the circle just look beautiful together and then the one I have right on top if you can see it's very very delicate this is not from Madewell it almost kind of blends right in with my skin when I first got this necklace I didn't really like that because it was almost it wasn't yellow enough it was more on the orange side so it blended in with my skin a lot more when I have it layered with these necklaces it kind of just adds like a little bit of um, a bit more texture, so it's not like a necklace that you can wear on its own, I don't think. I mean, you can, but it will definitely get lost, depending on your skin tone, but it'll definitely get lost if you're my skin tone at all. So dainty and beautiful, and it has these little, like, um, balls in between. This is actually from the brand Golden, I think that's how you pronounce it, because it's G... D-L-N. I think that's how they spell it. So I think they're trying to say Golden, but without spelling word golden I think um, the lighting oh my the lighting just completely changed in here really love their pieces handmade and handmade with love and care and you could just tell by the packaging oh my gosh it when I received this piece they had a little handwritten note that said my name on it they even said like who made the piece it was packaged just so so beautifully and um, you can just really tell that the company cares about each piece and cares about the customers and just like satisfying the customers. Oh gosh, I've only talked about three and we are already 12 minutes into this video. These hoops that I'm wearing right here are from Club Monaco, which actually didn't really think they even sold jewelry, but these are one of the most beautiful hoops that I own. Very heavy though, like way too heavy for my ear. They really weigh it down, but the quality is fantastic. And I'm pretty sure these were only like, I wanna say $45, $50. I got these a few years ago, so I really can't remember. They're not irritating at all to my ears. They haven't really tarnished. The colors stayed the same. Love them. Next up are the rings that I'm wearing. I have three different rings on and each one is from a different brand. Let me just say, I love all of them. Um, like I love the design, I just think they're so pretty. But this is what I will say about gold jewelry and I guess just jewelry in general. Um, you get, for the most part, you get what you pay for. For example, this ring right here, Love it, it's from Madewell. I just realized when I was looking at my hand, I'm not wearing my wedding ring. I'm wearing my band, but not my ring. No idea where it is. This Madewell ring right here, again, I love it so much, it's beautiful, but you get what you pay for. So I'm pretty sure this ring retails for like $30. The gold on the ring has completely worn off. So 
all right in there. As you can see, it's very um, silver. And the gold all along the edges right there have also come off. And I've only had this ring for, I wanna say, two months. As pretty as it is and as affordable as it is, I would say Madewell rings are no-go for me. I have a few more Madewell rings that I'm gonna show you that I love, but again, all the gold has just come off of them. These are their, the Madewell stacking rings, and I love them, um, but these have worn off. The gold has worn off a lot on these. But I just love them, and I love just like stacking them on top of one another. Two of those in the middle that I love. I love this diamond one right here. There's like a black one in there, and there's a cool hammered one. So I do love these, um, and I, I would recommend them just because for the for the time that I've had them, it took a while for the gold to wear off. Even like when the gold is worn off, they don't look bad. They're just not perfect. Now, the same for this ring right here. I love this ring. It's a signet ring that Tommy got me for Christmas. So Christmas wasn't that long ago. And again, the same thing is happening, but actually even worse. This used to be like bright gold. And all along, the middle there, it is just completely wearing off. All right in there is wearing off and all underneath as well. That's completely, almost completely silver, which is crazy because this ring was bright, bright, shiny gold when I first got it. I'll probably still wear these, but this ring was about $45. So it's like more than made well, but it's not as expensive as some other companies out there. And this is from the brand Filippo Loretti. Can't can't pronounce his name correctly. I'd really recommend it's just doing your research and reading tons of reviews. Now we come to this one over here, which is my all-time favorite ring in the entire world. If you guys follow me on my socials, you know that I wear this 24-7. This is from Missouri, and it is their um, dome croissant ring. This is what I mean when I say just like you get what you pay for. This ring is about $70, $75 maybe, but it is totally worth it. I have had this ring now for about a year, I wanna say. Maybe a little bit less than a year. It's like not even slightly wearing off. You can see underneath that it is still completely gold and the entire dome is still beautiful gold. Very minimal scratches and again, no gold wearing off whatsoever. Here we go again with the lighting. Obsessed with this ring and just the quality of this piece. Missouri is also one of those companies that just puts, puts so much effort into their packaging and making sure each piece is very special when you receive it, so I do appreciate that. They market themselves as luxury jewelry for less, and I would say that is true because um, this piece is amazing and it's only like, it's not even $100. Speaking of Missouri, I have three more pieces from them that I love. I actually do work with them, so they have sent me these pieces over time, but I would still go out of my way to buy them. Going along with that like croissant theme, I have this beautiful bracelet here. I don't wear bracelets a whole bunch. If I do, I want it to be just like kind of dainty and barely there. I feel very like fancy when I wear this bracelet. It's just very elegant and simple, beautiful, and it goes perfectly with my ring. And I have one more croissant piece, so I could wear all three of these together. These beautiful, small um, croissant dome earrings. Just like beautiful, high quality earrings. And again, wearing all three of these together makes me feel very special. And then the last ones I have from Missouri are these like half moons, almost full crescent moons. So thin and delicate and dainty and beautiful. I love these. And I also love the size of these too. They're like a good small medium hoop, which I really like. Highly recommend Missouri's pieces. Like I said, if you're looking, if you're looking to purchase jewelry, I would just invest in a better piece. That way, in the long run, you're not having to get like two of those pieces because it's not lasting. It's kind of like the quality over quantity saying. I have a few more pieces from Madewell that I'm gonna share with you. Whenever I film these videos, I have to edit out at least 30 minutes of me talking for way too long. I actually have one more Madewell necklace that I wanna share with you because I love this necklace. They definitely don't carry this anymore. I have checked a million times. It's called their Curb necklace and they just don't have any more, trust me. I have looked. These type of um, chunky chain 
chain link necklaces are so popular. I love them. I'll show you what it looks like on. I actually think that this necklace is very good quality. I just think it's such a beautiful statement piece and I love the layered necklace look. I think that's one of the most beautiful things. I don't wear it as often as I do these necklaces. But I don't know what it is about maple necklaces. Maybe they're just better than their earrings because yeah, it's completely perfect looking. Then we have probably two of my all-time favorite earrings. You've definitely seen me wear these before on like Instagram posts and videos. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. But the gold has worn off so much on these earrings. So I have their chunky medium hoops and then their chunky small hoops. Both beautiful earrings. Like I just think these are the most perfect earrings. Maybe you can't even tell from me showing you, but the gold is definitely wearing off a lot. I've just worn these so many times. Um, they're my favorite. And then I have the same ones, but again, just the tiny kinds. These are just the perfect little chunky hoop. I wear these to the gym, I wear these to the beach, the pool, love these pieces. The last ones I have from Meadwell are these hoops here, which I don't wear that often anymore, I don't know why. I do love these, they're very thin, um, pretty large gold hoops. Love these hoops, I don't think these are in stock anymore. Whatever's in stock, I will link below. The next pieces I have to share with you are these right here. I love these. Um, again, you've also probably seen these in some videos because I've worn them a lot. They are from this really sweet husband and wife shop. It's like really beautiful, well thought out pieces. I love these because I love the hammered design. They're very nice statement piece, but they're not overwhelming because they're very thin on the sides. I just love supporting smaller businesses and um, especially a husband and wife team. I just think that's so, so cool. These next earrings, probably one of my all-time favorite earrings I own. These earrings right here, these are actually from Banana Republic. They are so chunky but so lightweight and the braided material or the braided design is so different and unique. So these chunky backings, the way that it like slides in is so satisfying. The coloring of these earrings too, I also really love because they are very warm gold. They're almost slightly rosy gold. They're gold, but they have a slight rosy hue compared to a lot of my other earrings. Highly recommend these earrings because they haven't done anything to my ears. I don't know if I could say I recommend Banana Public's jewelry because I don't own anything other than these. From what I can tell with these, maybe their jewelry, all their jewelry is great. I just know specifically that I really love these. Then I have these little earrings here, which I really love. A company actually sent these to me called Sweet Bee Jewelry. I love these earrings. The gold has kind of come off, but not like a whole lot. From how it's designed, you really can't even tell. The gold is layered and wrapped in very random form. And the last pieces I have to show you, I have kind of a lot. I have four pieces here, all from the same company. These are all from the company called Simply Whispers. They actually did send me all these as well. We did a little collaboration together and they sent me these earrings and I'm very impressed so far. I have not had them long, but I love the designs. The first ones I have, I'm obsessed with. These hoops here, I just think are so cool. I love how lightweight and thin they are, but this beaded design is so cool to me. I don't know if I said it already, but I love the size of these. Um, they're like a nice, just good medium hoop, but they definitely make a statement when you're wearing them because of the beads around it. I just think they're so cool. They're actually a small um, Massachusetts company. They're supposed to be geared towards people with sensitive ears. Then I have these here, you probably barely see them, but they're these tiny little, um, they're called Huggies. And what I like about them is they have a little diamond dangling down off of them. And then I have just these classic little tiny hoops, but what I like about it is they are like a chain link. So it looks a lot like my Madewell um, chain link necklace, but tiny little hoops. It's very simple and sweet, but they have just like a little something that's different to them and they're not just a small little gold hoop. And then these are probably my favorite that they sent because the chunkiness. They're not oversized and in your face, they're just small and tiny, but they have 
they pack a lot of punch. Their pieces are very well made and very, it's very different and unique, which I really like. And so far, from what I can tell, they have not irritated me. But again, I've only had them for like five days, so I haven't had a lot of time to test them out. I was debating on whether or not to put this in. I just got these earrings, like just got them last night. And they're from Amazon. These massive hoops which are so cool and i love the idea of massive hoops like this i have never experienced a worse piece of jewelry i can touch the earring and the gold rubs off my finger and it rubs off my earring they were only 14 dollars, so i wasn't expecting them to be great but the reviews on them were great and that's what confuses me can you see that right along there? That was from today. That was from me literally holding it and like rubbing it with my finger to go put it on. And it's just like coming off on my finger. It's so bizarre and strange, totally unimpressed. And I just, I can't believe how bad these are. Let me just put them on for you because I think they're so cute. And I've been looking for just a massive, oversized hoop like look how cool these are i am obsessed with these i just think they're so pretty and they were they're like exactly what i wanted but i i just can't i can't keep a piece of jewelry that is going to be rubbing off on my fingers and rubbing off each time i touch it but they are a massive massive fail but guys that is it that completes my gold jewelry collection I showed you pieces that ranged from $15 to like $75 and the ones that I think are worth it and the ones that are definitely definitely not worth it I hope you enjoyed it I know this has been requested so don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel bye guys